Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you the paper pumpkin kit that I canned. This is a challenge that I started doing with my friend Linda Kaufman and then um, later on in the year um, Kelly joined us so I'll have a link to both their channels down below. But what um, all three of us have in common is a lot of backlog of paper pumpkin kits and so we're pulling them out randomly and working on them. Sometimes we make them as intended, sometimes we feel a little more creative and do alternative ideas, but we're trying to can those paper pumpkin kits so we can get rid of some boxes and make more room on our shelves. So I pulled out a paper pumpkin kit from March 2019 it was called Poppin' Birthday, and it made uh, pop-up birthday cards. And when I first got the kit, I made several cards from it. I was searching for them to share with you, but I couldn't find the ones that I originally made. I know the ones I originally made. I was a little more creative uh, making alternative cards. This time around, um, I I just basically made it as intended. I, I changed some things, but not a whole lot. So let me show you what I made. So first of all, I'll show you these cards. This is how they intended them to look um, with that on the inside, and then I'll show you what I did. So I've got three of them. They're all basically the same. I used the little banner like they did. Instead of using a number, I moved the happy birthday closer together and then used the confetti stamp that came in the kit in the center. And then opening it up, I pretty much did what they did on, on their card with the candles on the cake. Those were stickers. And then today we celebrate you. The only thing I did differently was I added um, that little die cut party hat. So um, this piece right here is popped up. So I have three of those. And then here's how they intended um, the other card to look like. I Again, I didn't use the numbers and um, I pretty much did the inside the same. So what I did differently is I used the confetti on the yellow banner and I used um, two of the party hats on each side. I popped up It's Your Birthday. The banner is glued down flat at the top but it's popped up with dimensionals at the bottom. And then when you open it up it is the same as how they intended the inside to look. So I made three three of those. And I just had the um, the card bases. I think, let's see, this originally made eight cards. I had six card bases left. I have um, most of the envelopes left. I have six envelopes left, so I'm going to save those, one for each of those cards. I, of course, have the a stamp set left over. Uh, today we celebrate you. It's your happy birthday. Here's a candle, here's a party hat, and here's the confetti. It came with a stampin' spot that I had put away a long time ago. Um, I still have three of the light blue banners left. I still have um, some of the white layers left and some of the yellow layers left. I still have um, all the party hats have been used but I have all um, three each of the three colors of bows left. I have quite a few of the candles left. They came in strips and you just um, with adhesive on them already. So I have several of those left. I didn't use any of the die cut numbers, so I have those left in this polka dot and this um, little sprinkle pattern. 
I have two card bases left, one of each. And then I have an envelope where I had um, cut off the flap, so somehow I used the flap on a previous card that I made a while ago. And then I have two of these layering pieces left. And I also have, it came with another stamp set, um, these polka dot numbers. So I have those left. So I pretty much now have canned the kit. What I'll do is I'll put the stamps where I keep stamps. I'll break these other little leftover bits. Um, I use empty paper pumpkin boxes and kind of store the extra bits by category so I'll divide these up into the categories where they belong and I pull those boxes out periodically to use the parts and pieces on other projects. So anyway that is the kit that I can this month. I'd like to thank you for joining me. Down below I'll leave a link to Linda's channel and Kelly's channel so you can check out to see what they did with their, their paper pumpkin kits this month. And now I'm off to create.